I'm live. Yay. Let's see here. Happen on. Okay. Um, starting something new and I'm going to have it in my calendar to do this every Sunday. It's going to pop up. And if I can't do it, I'll try and let you know and we'll see if we can do it on Monday or a different day. So, and I'm currently going live in both the page and the group. Now, we, we learned in the BOGO week that I have to be compliant. Let me get my Bluetooth off. Compliant on the page. And maybe a little, I can be a little bit more talkative in the group because it's a private group. Oh, I have to tell you. So I'm upstairs. Um, today, we decided to let the cats come up. So they have been, there's three rooms in the bathroom back here. They have been in like heaven exploring a whole bunch of new things. So if you hear any noises, crashes, means they knock something over, but I got two of them right here. So let's go on. Um, Arbor Vitae is at the beginning of my book. And um, I've got the sheets that are completely compliant here from Lisa Zimmer. And I've got some information to use with our pets. That's going to be on the page and on the group right now. And then I will come back on not in the in, in just in the group um and we'll talk about the other stuff so oh and i've got my arbor vitae here it is a five mil that was kind of a little surprise to me i didn't ex i didn't know um when i first got it that it was um going to be a, the small size bottle and then let's see it has a i like the smell now remember um Ooh, and let's see, what have we got here? Now, if you go around the corner, let me take this off so you can see. So we go around the corner, Arbor Vitae, um, turning the corner this way. Is there supplement facts? No, there is not. Is this ingestible by your mouth? No, it is not. And there we have our QR code that you can um, look it up that way. That'll take you to the source to you, and you can got the number right on the very bottom of this bottle. There's a number. Let me see if I can get it so you can at least see that there is a number. Gosh, you have to do the opposite of what you think. You see there's a little yellow thing on there. And you can look up the bottle and see the exact testing that took place with this. So I found some really interesting stuff, though, on the doTERRA website. Wealth of information on this website, remember that talked a little bit about it and I just went you do not have to log in I'm not even logged in and I searched uh, I provided there's a nice picture of the bottle there a little description about it um, warm earthy aroma but this one part that I thought was really kind of interesting Known for the tree as the tree of life, Arborvitae is majestic in size and abundant in unique benefits. This oil is sourced from the heartwood of the, why did I not check these names first? It's T-H-U-J-A, Thuja Placata tree. It is also known as, much easier this one, Western Red Cedar. And it's native to North America, primarily Canada and the Northwestern United States. This unique source of our variety essential oil contains a distinct chemical profile and is uniquely concentrated in menthol thajate. That, there's that word again. The sourcing arrangements for this oil are done in an innovative and environmentally responsible way through distillation of residual, residual wood materials to ensure no trees are unnecessarily harvested by production. Now they do this with another one, like I think it was a uh, black spruce maybe that came out not that long ago. The trees are harvested by other companies and there's like this pile of stuff on the ground. That stuff they use to make the oil. So they're like they are saying, um, environmentally responsible way of residual wood materials to ensure no trees are unnecessarily harvested for production. Native to Canada, all parts of the arborvitae tree are used extensively by Native Americans for health benefits and for building vessels, totem poles, baskets, and clothing. Because of its natural preserving properties, arborvitae prevents wood from rotting, which makes it popular in woodcraft for preserving natural wood surfaces. That's kind of a, I mean, that's kind of a cool thing that there's more than one type of tree 
that they do this type of stuff with. I find that really interesting. Don't forget if you pop on, even if you're watching the replay, say something. Just say, hi, popping in. So we're going to go back to the things that Arborvitae can do for us. Arborvitae, now we already heard, has a warm, woody, and earthy aroma. It's bright orange in color. Where did my thing go? Now I see that the label is bright orange in color. I'm kind of curious about this. Is it? I'm going to put some on my hand. Let me take this off so you can see it. I don't know if you'll be able to actually see it when it comes. Up. Ooh, it doesn't. But I kind of can see a little something, something with my hands. Mm. Ooh. I do. Um, ooh, it's kind of a neat, neat smell. I hope you all get to try, smell this one time. I'll put this back on. Here we go. Hi, Robin. How are you doing? It's been. I'm, we are expecting snow here this week, and tomorrow it's going to be 60 degrees still, so I'm really looking forward to that. The dog and I just got back from taking a walk real quick. Let's see. Arborvitae protects against environmental and seasonal threats. Ooh, I have those seasonal threats, remember? this. The, I'm going to have to learn some more about this one. This essential oil is a powerful cleansing and purifying agent. You can diffuse it to purify the air. It naturally repels insects. So we've talked about diffusing, therefore, aromatically. It's good for, I'm pretty good. It was a good weekend. How was your weekend this weekend, Robin? If you let me know. Um, apply to your wrists and ankles while hiking. Ooh, that's right, because this is a natural, also against environmental and seasonal th threats. What are environmental threats that you find in the environment? that the little creepy crawly things, environmental threats, um, it naturally repels insects. So therefore applying to your wrists and your ankles while hiking, add a few drops of it to a spray bottle with water and spray on surfaces or your hands for protecting a protecting solution. You got snow on Friday? You, I'm, I'm gonna put this on here, Robin, cause I, I this will be my first time trying this. We got snow on Friday. Oh, no. What state do you live in? What state do you live in, Robin? Oh, my. We live in, I'm in Ohio, and it's supposed to come, I think, uh, was it Tuesday? And I saw somebody posted on Facebook today, we're in the five-inch thing. But then they said it could melt before it hits the ground. So I'm hoping that you're, huh, is it melted yet in your area? Um, ooh, ooh, this essential oil protects against moss, moths, M-O-T-H-S. It preserves wood naturally. We just talked about the Native, um, Native Americans. Gosh, how did they phrase that? I want to get that right. Um, Native Americans for health benefits and for real building vessels because it prevents wood from rotting. Popular in woodcraft and preserving natural wood. Um, use it during meditation for a sense of peace and calming. Mix it with mulch while gardening. Ooh, makes me wonder if the gardening class thing has that in there. I will have to remember that, make myself a note when I get done here to make sure I mention that um, when I do the gardening thing. It started as freezing rain and ended as freezing. Started and ended this freezing rain. Oh, okay. But you looked at it and went, oh my gosh, it's snowing. I've, I've, seen, I've been there. Oh, I kind of like that. I hope it wasn't while you were driving. Create your own cologne. Hmm. Cologne. I'm thinking men's cologne. With cedar wood. Although, you know, this is, you know, I just had a, you know, we didn't have a fair last year. I just had, you know, it's been on my hand for a little bit. I Oh, Massachusetts. Okay. That's up there. Yes. I just talked to um, my husband's aunt who lives in Maine, and I didn't even talk to her about the weather to see how, the, how they were doing there. But when I just smelled my hands, I actually had a whiff of cowboys. You know, I mean, of leather, 
like not the horse barn of the bad things you may spell on the horse barn, but the leather, the saddles, you know, this kind of that. So I could see that with cedarwood, arbor vitae, and frankincense. Hmm. Arbor vitae promotes clear and healthy looking skin. I have yet to do an oil that does not talk about skin. Apply it topically to the skin to reduce the appearance of blemishes. Let's see, did I get everything? Peace and calm. Ooh, yes, here's another one I did miss midway up the page. Mix four drops of Arborvitae essential oil and two drops of lemon oil with fractionated coconut oil for an effective wood preservation and polish. So that was four Arborvitae, two lemon, which lemon is very good for um, wood. I don't know which cat is over there. What are you doing? Ninja, ninja, come here, come here. Get, come here or I'll have to call daddy. It's a good thing I'm almost done because he's not in a very good precarious position that could fall over and create a massive disaster in that room. So we will get him soon. Now my favorite, I don't know where Momo is, but he's up there doing something. Um, so let me, I've got some notes here about our pets and our variety. Let me take this off. And then I'll close this up and we'll go, I'll hop completely over to the page, I mean to the group. And that one is off the top of my head. Oh, I'll have to think of it. I'll look on my phone. Um, so, uh, it says Arborvitae is a natural insect repellent. The oil comes from the leaves and the twigs of this western red cedar tree, which is a con coniferous tree from the cypress family it's been called the tree of life which we did here it's a powerful cleansing and power and protects against seasonal threats da, da, da. can be used safely with all species it's important to know oh good he's off of that over there um caution should be used around birds for horses and cattle you can put it topically straight on when or you can mix it with a carrier oil such as your fractionated coconut oil to a one to two percent dilution and spray it on topically for dogs under 15 pounds and i was going to google this but i did not um uh dilute one drop in a one to two milliliter of carrier oil now if i can slip over here real quick i'm going to disappear and things are going to wobble I've got, there we go, I'm back. Um, I got a two milliliter little things here and I wanted to show you right here. So under 15 pounds, one drop in a one to two milliliters of carrier oil. So that's kind of your dilution. And for dogs, 15 pounds or over one drop in 20 drops of carrier oil and apply topically. So this, I've, it's been a while since I've tried to fill one up to know it must be less. I would say this must hold only 10. I would say half. One to two ml. This is a two. So one would be slightly smaller than this. Now for cats or other small animals that may you may have in the house, they say this is best to use diffused. And remember, those are water-based diffusers. Um, two to three drops. Um, in a water-based diffuser, make sure you have open rooms. The animals can leave. So I have noticed when I diffuse up here on the second floor, I've got a um, my panel sitting right over here. It really, I guess, I mean, it smells better in this three rooms up here than um, I get. It has it smells more potent than it does in my living room downstairs. So. I do have that. It snowed, and Robin says it snowed for most of the day and washed away overnight. And of course, I had to drive in the slush, and your car got like a little. Yeah, that's true. Okay. Um, oh, if you do want to apply this topically to your pets, uh, small animals, like maybe you have an indoor outdoor cat, um, you can dilute one drop 
in a 15 ml of carrier oil. Now, what's a 15 ml? Our normal size oil bottles, that's a 15 ml. So you're um, diluting one drop in that. And oh, I hear, what are you doing, kiddo? Ninja. He was aptly named Ninja. Trust me. <laughs> he gets into everything. Um, so, and I did Google this one. One 15, a 15 milliliter. No, no, I, I, that doesn't even seem right. Is equal to one tablespoon. I, yeah, I said, what is one? I Googled and said, what is one 15 mil equal to? And it had tablespoons. And it says like 1.01 .01 something tablespoons. Although when I hold up a 15 milliliter bottle, it seems a lot more than that. But so it's one. So if you're going to put this on your smaller animals on a regular basis, I would use one of your um, retired empty that you've cleaned out 15 mil bottles and um, put fill it with coconut, you know, your, what is it? What is it? One drop, your fractionated coconut oil, put your cap back on it, shake, 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 and use that a couple drops in your hand and then bring it down your cat's um, fur and stuff. That would be helpful. Um, if you're going to have them an indoor outdoor cat and you're worried about bringing in fleas and oh, environment, insects, insects. Okay. Well, thanks for popping in and yep. One 15 mil is one tablespoon. Thank you Robin for checking that because it just it still, it still doesn't seem visually. I need to bring out a funnel and try it, but yes. One drop to a 15 mil bottle. I think that would be the easiest way to do it rather than holding a tablespoon of oil up and putting a drop in there. And that'd be a pain in the butt. So, okay, I'm going to end this one. We're going to pop over to the other and I will, oopsie, and I will um, read out of one of my favorite books down here a little bit more. Um, thanks. Okay. Bye. Thanks for popping in on our first one. Hey.